today we shall see how to build a registration form using jquery ajax methods which means basically the web page doesn't reload once you hit the submit button but still the user registration would be fulfilled i'll quickly write a form with an id my form i'll take make this as username Next, I'll take the password field. First name and the last name. And of course, a submit button. I'll also take a div here with an ID of ACK so this is a simply I'm putting a text so as to show the placement of this div I'll open the web page directly here just to show the layouts use cascading style sheet to make this registration form pretty we are ready to write process.php before writing that I'll write some PHP code to connect to the database mysql underscore connect and mysql select db are some standard php functions people is name of the table we are yet to create it's a local host with a username of root and there is no password that's it i'll write process.php remember we have all these tutorials on technotip.com under php category if you don't understand any of these things please visit our blog now i'll connect this file to the database that is people name of the database is people which we are yet to create well these should be names i'll change it later now user name is equal to we get the data in post method in order to protect our script from sql injection i'll write mysql underscore real underscore escape underscore string it's a standard php function which escapes some of the strings which using which people could sql inject so i'll change this id to names so this is how we get the values here so it's username i'll quickly copy paste and change the values first name and last name I'll MD and MD5 encrypt the password too now the query insert into well we need to create a table before that we need to create a database called people so get into PHP my admin we need to create a database called people well inside that i'll create a table called users with let me see one two three four i'll take five fields here one auto increment field called slnvo it's a tiny int 
let me make it auto increment with that check mark it's an auto increment a username password first name last name or bad care so save it so these database is people users is table name so insert into table that is users with value of leave the first field empty because it's an auto increment field that is slno now fill the remaining fields with the value accepted from the user now using mysql underscore query pass this query to this standard php function if this query is successfully executed echo insert su inserted successfully else echo insertion failed we need to display that information output by process.php inside the div with an id ack before going further let's insert one entry that is one let us register one user this should work like a usual form it gets redirected to process.php file once i hit register well we have an error here okay these variable names should be same now it must be working let's try it once again okay insertion inserted successfully this is our traditional registration form so let's apply ajax to this that is once the user hits the register button the user must get registered but shouldn't get redirected to some other pages the information that is if he got registered or registration failed should appear on the same page below the registration form inside the div with, with an id ack let's give it an id and call it submit So once the user clicks on this button, the button with an ID submit. Once the user clicks on it, call an anonymous function actually we could write this directly instead of writing it inside document.ready so we shall just remove it now collect all the data present inside the input box so select this my form it's an id so dot call serialize array method of jquery which sanitizes or serializes this all the user input data which would be helpful to pass to this post method basically serialize array serializes the input data into key value pair so my form dot its attribute that is its action attribute basically this is process.php so instead of writing process.php we have written this now initialize this serialized data to a variable called data it's a second parameter 
third one is a callback function. Now, instead of writing this data, I'll just cut this and paste it here directly. So first one is the URL to be processed, which returns inserted successfully or insertion fail to the callback function. I'll catch it with a name called info. Using this output, we shall display appropriate message. Rather, just echo this information inside the div tag with an ID of ACK. Before that, empty if anything is present inside this div. After that, place this information inside the due tag. Also make sure you disable the redirection after the user hits the submit button. For that, select the form dot its submit. Call the anonymous function and then return false. This would make sure the form doesn't redirect to any other files that is process.php once the user hits the submit button. So let's have a look at it in the browser. So we have already registered a user called Satish. Now I'll register another person. Okay, it doesn't redirect. Insertion successfully message comes right below the form. And the registration is also successful. But these values shouldn't be there once the registration is successful. So let me clear the data present inside the input box. I'll write a custom function and name it as clear. Select all the input fields and then loop through each of them. Now this whichever is being looked dot its value make sure it's empty that's it now call this clear method so let's see how it works now once the user hits submit button registration should be successful plus all these fields should be empty okay inserted successfully but the problem is the submit button got disappear because it's an input its type is also input a simple solution is change it into a button with an id of submit this should solve the problem remove this line of code now let's see once again so this is fourth user being registered here okay inserted successfully all the fields got empty and the button still remains here let's check the information in our database So four users have been registered successfully. So this is to avoid SQL injection. This is MD5 encryption of the password. In our next video, we shall see how to 
validate the data in client side as well as server side using php client side using jquery and server side using php so please keep subscribed to our blog technotip.com and youtube channel please share this video with your friends on facebook linkedin twitter google plus etc and like it on youtube